Hey folks, welcome back. Okay, uh, I actually ended it before the uh, where I rolled the turn, I think. So um, <clears throat> I've been having a bit of a think about this game and thinking like, what you know, what am I going to do here? What do I want to do? I think that I've been playing it a little bit too slack and you know, kind of taking it for granted. The uh, <clears throat> we're not in any danger. However, the enemy has got a few armies that we need to stand up to, and the the uh yeah these guys look he's got all my magic items now i need to get all this back we've got to be a bit careful because the ai have won a couple of ki key critical battles and we do need to we do need to sort this out otherwise we could end up on you know in a losing game i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep lars and the grand necromancer as my main force and really we should be going for the center because the center is you know this this central city does give you you know the capital does give you a lot of income if you can hold that um it's also got a level two library i think no it's a level one library my bad uh yeah it's only a level one library but it does take the it, it kind of takes out the main spawn point for the uh for the empire so i think that's a good goal to go for what we'll do is we'll try and we'll take out some of these armies on the way now, Lars is well so, well kitted out to be able to take out troops like this, and then we can just start raising the dead. Um, <clears throat> now, he, he shouldn't have... He's got regained sanity, so we should be able to re regain... Sorry, we should be able to raise the dead fairly well. Uh, iron Mastery. Yeah, so that's what that's the main plan, right? We're going to go down here, I think. We'll, we'll defeat this army, and then we'll... What I'll do is I'm going to actually fall back with the witch character... With the two witches... We've got two hags at the moment. I think they're both hags, yeah. We're going to fall back with the hags and we'll we'll use those guys. We'll we'll get some fungus together and then we're going to kind of gather more fungus, I think. And then we're going to try to build a powerful army in the south for the witch. Uh, the kobolds are going to help them, I think. I think that's going to be the plan for the kobold. We'll be able to help down here in the south and just kind of send out raiding parties kind of use them like you know the like the ai uses where they just send out tons of little you know raiding forces and the ai struggles to deal with that to be honest so yeah that's that's kind of the plan uh in the north we've got to deal with this too um we don't have anything up here to be able to deal with it yet now we could send the witches actually that might be an idea you know we could use the swamp travel bog uh, bog travel or whatever it's called to send them up here and then they could actually come down and hold this yeah that might be an idea and then we we leave lars and the kobolds to deal with this issue down this way. In fact, the kobolds might have to fight down here too. Like they've got three crossing points, look. They've got uh, this crossing in the four, really. We're holding this bridge in the north. We've only got a small force. Uh, they've got this one here at the uh, tower bridge. And Rave, uh, the, we've got some troops at Raven Tower. But until we've got uh, the demonologist back, we can't do a whole lot there. So, yeah, uh, maybe, maybe that's what I'm going to do. Maybe I cast... You just go to this. Marshlands? No, that's not it. Um, which one is it? Okay, so she's got all the Ritual of Masteries. Is it a Ritual of Grand Mastery that allows you to travel? Let me have a look, because I think uh, Alkinoe's got that, this one. Bog Path. There we go. Yeah, so this is, this is the one that allows us to travel up there. Um, it's a lot of... I mean, it's three turns, basically. Three turns worth of... Or, you know, just just over three turns. Let's go and grab this. I think we'll do that first. And I think we need to go and do something about these guys. I just don't think... Oh, we've got a Witch's Apprentice available as well. That's really handy. Uh, have we got... Have we got a building for them to come out of? Yeah, look, we've only got three towers. We've got Earth Fort, this one. Got this one here, which is the, uh, the, t the tower. It's just called Tower. And then... Got the Desert Paz Palace. Um, let's just get her out here. Yeah. So we get, uh, 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 we'll get the Witch's Apprentice, a Terry. Otrary, sorry, and she's got Poison Cloud and Venom. Those are pretty good spells. I'm going to keep her there, I think. Oh no, no, I won't. What I'll do is I'll move her up here. Um, 
In fact, I think it's Boggs she wants to be in. Let's just get her up this way. Um, we'll just travel her up here. She should be, shouldn't be too much in the way of wildlife up there now. Yeah, and I think I'm going to leave these desert warriors here. Yeah, it's time to get kind of serious with the strategy on this game now. I've been treating it a little bit too... Too much like an adventure game and less like a, you know, less like a serious strategy game. Okay. Allied forces are fighting in a hamlet. Well, <laughs> there we go. Look, that was the doppelganger turning these guys into doppelspawn. Now the doppelspawn will move with us. Okay. So we actually gained two doppelspawn. Okay, we've got a red kobold shaman available. Um... Yes, we definitely want one of those. So the more of those we've got, the better. We'll just keep this black kobold there for the time being. Uh, we've actually got a red kobold shaman here too. Okay. Got a fairly large army here. This, uh, I think that what we're going to have to do is get this guy down here. Now he's got, I think, let me think. Soul Vortex... That's armor negating, but it's not going to work on a disease, weakness, and decay. Black cloud is disease. We've got anything uh, that can actually attack this? No. Sleep's not going to help us. Yeah, this these guys are a, a bit of a challenge for the necromancer. Let's get her back up here. Okay, Zubaki is just going to carry on with some... Oh, hopefully there's no leader here. No. Uh, Zubaki is just going to carry on with his backline raiding. This is actually a really effective tactic. And Aliku, the red uh, kobold shaman. Uh, let's get her this way, I think. Trying to... Yeah, we, like, we definitely want to get this iron mine. We'll take this off the Necromancer. I don't know why the Necromancer's got that. Yeah, let's get these guys travelling. Go and take this one back here. And Ziku. Really, really large army. I think I want to go and take Castle Unbreachable back eventually, but let's grab this coal mine first because the gems are very, very useful. Okay, and Turtuk is just going to stay there. All right, it's Lars's turn. We've got a Ghost Scout available if we can get one. Yeah, like this has been damaged. The Stone Golem has been ga damaged, but... I don't know. These I don't know if these guys are going to do much damage to it. Ah, now these spectral bows do their magic damage. Okay, magic damage I think ignores armor. That's interesting. These guys might be able to do it. I want to kill that. Just whether these can do it. Um. Bane fire bows will cause decay. Yeah, this will do it. This will do it because we can, we can. They're not immune to decay. Those things. So let's go and kill this guy. That's going to be a good job done because that's a threat. That is. I was playing as the enchanter recently when I was like kind of just messing around playing, and man, that is a really really strong class. I I, I wasn't I wasn't immediately enamoured with it. I got to be honest with you. Oops. Okay. This guy's been ambushed. That was a foolish thing for me to do. Should we see if we can take these guys out? Let's see if we can get it. If we can get a coal mine, that would be pretty cool. I don't really care if I lose the army. Um, Albrecht. Harold is available too. All right, Harold. Yeah, we need to go down here and take this iron mine. Harold is just going to sit there for a bit. I might actually just get up some arches here. Okay, let's grab this iron mine. We're going to eventually want that with the kobold. Okay, this dude here. Got the ring of water. Water walking. 
getting this guy to just pick up these. Looks like we've been losing a few of the uh, list outline villages. We'll try and pick some of those up. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any commanders around here at all. So let's just sneakily send Lakiro in and with some guerrilla warfare. Uh, yeah, we've still not got a, a commander available. Cultists don't seem to get commanders available very often, but I am just going to get... Uh, let's get up some swordsmen here. So we've got some troops to, to guard for Raven Tower. I don't want to lose that. Okay, it's a Terry's turn. Yeah. Yeah, I think I do. I think I am going to use the uh, bog bog paths to get her up here, so she can she can actually. She really wants to be defending her territory. This is kind of her territory. This is how I see it, anyway. I think she needs to be up here, and then I'll get her to come on, like come up this way. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Have we got a character available? No, we don't. So Alkinoe. Yeah, we've got this kind of locked down. She's the one that can do the bog path spell, though. Uh, what what that means is I might actually end up leaving. Yeah, she's like we have got like a creeping doom. That creeping doom is going to be really really dangerous. Uh, creeping doom is invulnerable basically. It just can't be hurt. Um, so that that thing will kill these guys. But the problem is the the archers are going to do a number on. You know they've got a fair amount of archers. Look, have they got crossbows? Yes. They've got mostly frontline troops, and that thing can't be hurt by them. But they will run around. They will run around it. We need more, basically. Hmm, this is interesting. Interesting stuff. Now she's got slow troops as well. It's just that alligator. That's, that, yeah, it's the uh, it's the crocodile that's slow. Two, okay. Let's get her back here. We'll try and get some more troops up. And yeah, we'll get Otari up this way. By the time she's got up to this witch, this bog, we'll be able to uh, cast the Ritual of Mastery for her. Uh, with the witch. Now we have got this guy to, to be... We've got to worry about this guy. We have got... It's like there's an enchanter here. It's only an enchanter's apprentice. So, but we have we've got two necromancers down this way, and these guys are pretty powerful if they've given the ability. I think we're a little bit constrained on resource at the moment. We probably should try and focus more on getting, you know, kind of consolidating the position we have before we try to expand too far out. Uh, but we also need to deal with the threats that we've got. Okay, we were ambushed. Okay, he died. Um, let's see what happened here. Let's see if we can take this thing down. There we go, look. We are doing some damage to it. We're not going to do a lot of damage to it, very, uh, but it's going to be a slow job. Uh, it's blind now. Interesting. We've, we've obviously damaged the, the way with in which it sees. Okay, this is an easy job now. It won't be able to hit us. Very, very unlikely it can hit us. Okay, so now it's decaying. Great stuff. Great stuff. Yeah, that's uh this thing will you know they use these things are created from mines so it's actually quite a big thing taking them out let's see what happens here can we get these come on Ooh. we got it but we lost our commander that's okay um i don't care so at least we took that mine let's just go to that yeah, so we've, we've actually got a mine here, and it's uh, it's given us it's a gem mine, actually. Wow, would the kobolds love to get down here? <laughs> Bet they would. They've got no hope. Not without magic items. All right. Got loads and loads and loads of red kobolds here, look. Let's take this black kobold leader, and we're just going to use him to... We're going to use him to transport some stuff. Now, where was this one going? Okay, Akleku is just going to grab those uh, 
those troops. So we've got, and um, we're going to meet up here with the uh, the Cobalt sh uh, Shaman. Probably split these troops in two. Uh, so we've got two small armies. These guys can continue going. Oops. Now, let's get the Ritual of Mastery. Okay, so she's got Summon Dragon. Uh, Zixikri. We've got Summon Shades, Dark Cloud, and Weakness. Weakness is not bad. Um, it causes everyone to call, you know, do less damage, which isn't a bad... It's not great, to be honest, but it's not bad. I think, like, for example, if you cast it on a bunch of Hobergs, <laughs> they're going to be screwed. They can't do any damage. Uh, so, yeah, not bad. Summon Shades is good, though. One to three Shades, and you can summon about 25. So, okay. We can get some Black Cobalt Warriors, too. Or Red Dragon Spawns. Let's get the Black Cobalt Warriors. We'll try and get a little force here. I want a stealthy force. Gugriku is going to... Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do something to stand up against these lot. We have got a large for, a force of kobolds. We're gonna be need to be backed up with magic, but I think we can do that. Let's. Uh, they can't move any further, so. But we're gonna lose this iron mine. Um, get in the mat. Let's get here. We'll just uh, hide them here. Take this mine. Go back out into the sea. Okay, Ziku with this huge, huge army here. Let's go and take this castle back. Castle unbreachable. Well, I'll be the judge of that. We've got a spell scroll level 1 for 75 gold. Eh. Yeah. Okay, let's go and grab this back. Harold is also active too. That's good. I might get Harold back here. I oh, might. He's got. He can sense the dead. Why don't we use him to raise the dead? Oh yeah. There's a good reason why. The reason being is because he's too crazy already. He's also got a death wish. <laughs> That's interesting. Has he cast twice born? Yes, he has. Interesting. So he's got a death wish, and he really wants to be. A, he really wants to be a leash, <laughs> or whatever it is, or a white. I think it's going to be in this case. He raises an undead being. Spooky. Okay, so we've got this iron mine. What do we need for the Ritual Grand Mastery? 240 hands of glory. Might be worth casting on him just to get rid of that some, some of that uh, insanity. Let's go and kill these goats and then we'll, we'll absorb the corpses. Okay, there is this, uh, this coal mine available. The Baron is doing very, very well, as usual. Baron often does very, very well. It's a really, really powerful char character class now in this game. Okay, let's get... No, I'm going to save my money, just because I, what I want to do is I really want to get the first character that comes up. Okay. Yeah, one more turn... And she can cast that spell. Okay, these guys are heading up towards Ant Watch. Look, well, that means that means that Andromeda. Let's just get here and get rid of that slow creature. Um, we'll also let's get some uh, Androphage Arc Androphag Archers, and then we're going to head out into the desert. What we'll do is we'll, we'll go this way. I'm going to try and keep out of range of this guy. Um, I, I want him to come up to. I want him to come up this way because if he runs into Lars, he's in for a world of hurt. Okay, let's just get a Terry to carry on the, this way. A Terry, sorry. Now I think I'm going to get the uh, the Kobolds to go and take. Just before I read the messages, I want the Kobolds to go and take this mine. Um, where was that? I just saw. Like, really, the, uh, the the Necromancer doesn't really need any more metal now. I think he's got kind of enough. We don't really use it. So, where was that? I'm being dense. I'm sure I saw a mine somewhere that the, uh, the Necromancer had. Down this way? Oh, well, we 
Bum, bum, bum. This would be a nice feature, maybe, you know, a quality of life feature for Conquest of Elysium would be to have a list of all your... I don't think you have this, do you? Uh, you there's a list of all your settlements, basically, or, you know, all the mines that you've got, for example. You could sort it by mine. I don't really know how necessary that is in Conquest of Elysium, to be honest. It'd be a nice quality of life feature, I think, for certain players, but I don't think it's, like, massively important. Okay. Got a red cobalt chieftain available. Always kind of useful, those guys. I think I'm just going to leave the uh, Zik Zikri here. I just want to get more of those black kobolds. Okay, this guy's he went for the mine. That's interesting. So we got Aliku here. Let's get the black kobold back this way. Yeah, I'm going to take that mine. I, we, we, we want the gems there. So I'd rather have the kobolds having the gems. The yeah, kobolds really want the gems. <laughs> Look at this pirate, like this uh, motley crew of pirate, pirate kobolds sailing around the coast. <laughs> I love this game. It's just so ridiculous. <laughs> Then it's like, I think it's good if you play it with a straight face as well, you know. <laughs> I just find it, I find it so hard because it's just so silly. <laughs> Let me know disrespect, like, you know, like I, I really, really love what, you know, Ill, uh, Ill Winter have done with this game. And I think they'd be the first to admit that it is funny. <laughs> like, so, so much funny stuff goes on in it. <laughs> yeah, we never saw this battle. Let's just watch this battle. It's just going to basically be a bunch of... A bunch of goats coming to their to their doom. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Okay. So we got a restless carcass out of it, and there's been a battle in Earthfort as well. Let's... This is just a bunch of um, arch. Now these bows are pretty good, by the way. Oh, we're just going to wreck our front lines. Look, but they're not going to last long. We only take one. They've only got one hit point each. Okay, we actually lost thirteen units there. Uh, but let's go to that. Like um, now, Lars, he can actually. Yeah, he's overwhelmed. Wow, he's overwhelmed by the presence of dead here. What do we do? Should we get up a uh, abomination? Okay, I didn't mean to do that. I clicked on that to see what it was, but that's okay. Um, okay, it's a strong presence there. Let's get the abomination up. The abomination is good. Um, where was it? I'm sure I heard someone say they didn't think it was very good. I'm baffled by that. I think the abomination is really strong. I, it can be easily defeated. I mean, like, you can hit it with decay. And if it starts decaying, like a Bane Blade hits it, like you saw early in the game, then it could be a bit of a problem. But um, I might just leave that abomination there, actually, while uh, and just let it absorb the rest of the... Uh, no, maybe not. What I might do is I might just get Lars to raise the dead. We want some, we want some more undead chaff before we kind of go into this battle. Uh, we've got Albrecht. Ah, Har like Harold is currently indisposed, shall we say? Maybe Albrecht can go and take this bridge then. Yeah, it's probably a good cho good choice for him. Okay, we've got uh, this group by uh, led by Dragon the Court Mage. Picked up some of our stuff by the looks of it. Um, he's in distributed some of the gear, the gear around too. Akira can just go this way and just start picking up some of these things that we've missed. Okay, Turpine still can't do anything. Uh, we, we don't really want to be doing this. We don't want to be buying sacrifices. So let's just not trade anything for the time being. And uh, just get just get some money in. Okay, let's get some heavy infantry there. Alright. Alright, uh, Alkinoe here can now cast this spell. So let's go... Oh no, we've got to be in a swamp. Oh, silly me. Okay, is there a swamp nearby? There's one there, look. So, I, I mean, honestly, we suppose we could walk up in the time. I wonder how many turns it's going to be. I wanted to get up here. It's a long way though, that is, isn't it? Let's get up here. I mean, I think by the time we've by the time we've walked up there, let's just get this get to this swamp. Now she can't actually move at the moment. So um, what I might do is, why she, uh, we might as well summon something. Um. Oh, 
Okay, that worked for once. Swamp Drake, poisonous breath. Right. By the way, she's not got a lot of stuff, but that's a powerful army. Um, I'll tell you, that's a decent army. In fact, I wonder if it's worth just getting a few more while she's just unable to move. Um, let's get... Um, and one more. Okay, see, that's working a little bit more reliably now. Now, she's not slow, is she? Yes. All right, all these dumb things are slow. Okay, that's okay. We'll, what we'll do is we'll actually use these to go and... I think what we'll do is we'll use her to, like, take some stuff around here. Doesn't look like the enemy's making a move up this direction yet, at least. If we can keep him busy around here, we might find that he doesn't make a push in the north. Um, that said, it might... Oh, look, we've lost this gem deposit. Now, those kobolds can go and get that back. I think that's probably a good job for them. Kobolds probably want to take this gem deposit too here, look. Um, also, should we get an Andrif uh, Andrifag Lord up this way? What would be the point of doing that? Okay, so we could go and take some more of these forests, basically. That might be um, might be a good job. So let's just get that guy going and doing that. Yeah, we, we want to be heading up to here, look. And he's pretty fast, so he's going to get up there quite quickly. And um, we're going to get her up to this bog. Go and get this iron bog as well. The Terrari. Okay, it's the next turn. It's been a castle in... Castle, uh, sorry, there's been a battle in Castle Unbreachable. Okay, they've opened the gates and they've decided to come straight out to face this horde of kobolds and a desperate last stand. Will this brave kobold warrior on the front line survive? He's feeble-minded, so it doesn't really matter whether he does or not. I mean, feeble-minded just gives them, like, really, really high morale. <laughs> yeah, they get increased morale and reduced mag magic resistance, basically. So, kobold's got four magic resistance. Is that kind of interesting? Okay. There's loads of stuff available. We've got a green kobold chief, a red kobold shaman, and we've got some black kobold, uh, black dragon co black dragon spawns. Um, let's just have a look at those guys. Yeah, they've got the Dagger of Filth. They're fly they're, so they're still flying units. Um, but they're going to fly for... Right, so they are good, right? But I think we're just going to go with the ground force here. Let's just get these, uh, these black kobolds. I'd like to get a, a sort of strong-ish group of black kobolds. Let's say... I don't know, like two rows. A two two rows will be enough that you know that we can actually do a successful ambush, and that's what these guys are supposed to be here for. I want to be ambushing with them. Let's get this guy picking up some red kobolds. Now we want to go and retake this iron mine. This is definitely something we can do with this group now. Uh, we've got two kobold shaman. Okay, uh, we want two hundred. We need two hundred rubies in order to get the ritual of grand mastery. Are we buying rubies? Yeah, we are. Okay, we're going to go down here. Uh, we ah, oh, there we go. Look, there's that force. So I think that we're going to have to deal with that with the with the uh, Lars, and Lars is in a good state to be able to do that at the moment. Okay, taking this watchtower, which is giving us some eyes over the. This is like the very kind of. Sort of northwestern point, I guess. Yeah, unless there's a, a higher point up this way. Okay. Gentlemen, leave your boats. You are going to go and take this back. Okay, that gives us a diamond. And we got Ziku here with this very, very large force. Yeah, let's... So, castle... Uh, we've got black dragon spawns here. Yeah, that is going to take gems, though. Um, what's in this library? Oh, there's a frost brand. The Magus. Uh, we might lose a lot of troops to that. This is quite easy to take, so let's just grab this one. Um, there's a green kobold chief. Oh, we can get some green kobolds. Let's get some green kobolds for this group. Yeah, okay. 
So Tituk now actually has some troops. Oh, we got a Necromancer's Apprentice available. That's useful. 67 gold. Now, let's have a think about where we want that. How useful would it be for us to have a force of necromancers in the north? It could be quite useful. So let's let's do that, I think. We can actually get him to the Ritual of Mastery pretty, pretty fast as well. Although, I remember I was saving some for something else. Oh yeah, that was right. What I wanted to do was try to get this guy uh, to be a grand... Uh, it was Harold. Because uh, he can actually... He's insane. Um... And we could get rid of his insanity, which might be quite useful. I think what we should do with these with these guys here is defend this area. I don't want to go too far like out because I think that's the mistake I made before was kind of like going too far. Now there is this. Look, we could kind of threaten him on this side, but I, I don't want to lose any more forces. Albrecht's actually got some decent stuff as well, um, so let's let's move him this way. And Albrecht and Harold can stay together. Now there is dead sensed here. We could actually use him to raise the dead. All the most all of the dead seem to be animals. Okay. So Harold's gonna be even more crazy now. Oh, you only got five. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, these guys, uh, this group here is following us and they're just picking, it's following Lakira here and they're just picking stuff up. I don't mind them doing that. They can chase him around all they want. Okay, Trana, Lars and Echus are going to go this way and we're going to go and defeat this force now. Uh, oh, no, they can't because Lars has got a point, uh, an action point lost. Okay, we've got no slow units. I've got an idea. Now, if they take Crowspire, we can go and take it back. Let's just move here, right? And wherever these guys move. If they move here, we can take them. We should have three action points next turn. Uh, I don't think that they're going to take that. I think they'll run away. Because they'll see that, you know, this quite scary army is there. Amal Amalaric. Amalaric has got decay and uh, black cloud. Wow, he really likes the uh, he really likes the nasty stuff. Uh, yeah, let's move him up this way. And Shige is going to move back down. Those guys are going to um, join up together. Now, let's have a look down in Hades. See if we can get another. Oh, we don't have any commanders, but let's get some spectral arches up here. At least so we can guard Earth Tower here. Oh, we've got a ghost captain here too. We've got Headless, the ghost captain. Okay. It's got a small force of. Uh, small force here. Well, we'll just, what we'll do is we'll get those guys. They need to have a decent sized force to guard them from the, uh, the restless spirits that are just kind of wandering around. Okay, Turpine. Uh, this guy hasn't got, he's still got nothing, yeah. Cultist just doesn't get enough um, characters. I think I'd, I'd kind of like it if, once you killed, you know, the last character, that if it just slightly increased the chances of you getting the, the uh, you know, the mages. I don't know if that's how it already works. I think that would be cool. I've got one Androphag Lord and a Scout. The Scout would actually be really, really useful on this one that we've already created. Where is he? dude here. Uh, let's just get him up anyway. I'm going to get her moving this way and start retaking some of this stuff. He's going to go and grab this bog. Yes, yeah, so Alkanoe. I think we're going to go and grab this from the Monkey Maharaja here. Yeah, so we shouldn't be able to do it until next turn, but okay, there is a there's a chance we could lose her to the catapult. Um, now she's got quite a high hit points. Doesn't have blunt resistance though. 
yeah, I mean, this is risky. This is kind of risky. I, what I might actually do is go get, get home to move up here instead. Take this, um, and then we'll we'll pad our units out with some more some more chaff tubes. All right, folks, that's going to be the end of this episode because otherwise it's going to be getting a little bit too long. Hope you're still enjoying the series. Let me know what you think about it in the comments, and we will catch you next time. See you later.